Yo, 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 what's going on guys? This is your boy Will Fresco, and in today's video, we're gonna go over the Save the World front end improvements. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's probably been done like 20 times already, but I thought it was big enough news for me to bring it to you guys and talk about it. Now, I want to apologize real quick on um, my voice. I am feeling a lot under the weather. My nose is running, my buggers are out, my throat hurts, my head is spinning. I basically feel like I was put on the spin cycle in a washing machine, and it feels horrible anyway i thought that this was exciting news and i'm very hype about it either way and i want to go over it with you guys we're going to start off with the command center the new command tab acts as an overview of your account progress and prominently features your current hero the screen acts as a hub and provides a variety of options that become available as you progress through the campaign offering quick access to change your hero view your stats and manage all the heroes and survivors that make you more powerful Homebase power is now simply called power and a variety of rewards are given when you level up including fort stats as well as schematics and resources. XP boost information is also visible on this screen and provides a shortcut to activating boost. Now this screen right here looks it's actually pretty interesting. As you can see there's no more home base power now it's just straight up power. So on the top right corner you guys see that it says power it shows your power level there. Um, I also noticed that this dude is very V rich, like he's very V bug rich. He got 69,000 freaking V bucks. I'm kind of jealous. Anyway, this right here is going to show you an overview of your hero and it'll let you go into the other, into your other options. This right here would be the command, the command center I stated before, and it actually looks pretty cool, man. It looks refreshing. You know what I mean? Like something new. It looks like they actually been working on this. So let's jump into the next screen. This right here is your hero screen. We're excited to introduce a new character to help whip your heroes into fighting shape, the Major. Once you meet him in the campaign, he'll be located in the training room. The Major unlocks your ability to level up and manage your heroes, as well as provide access to defenders, expeditions, and your hero loadout. We'll have more details on the new hero loadout when the feature is close to release, but for now, it handles your primary hero as well as tactical and support slots. We've added a back button in the top left to allow for easier navigation on the menus. Players who use a controller can still use a primary controller back button. And um, this dude right here, this is the Major. He actually looks pretty cool. I think he will make a pretty cool hero. But he is going to be um, the dude kind of managing the whole Heroes tab or your Heroes option. He, he has a, a fork and a knife as a hand, which is pretty interesting. Um, and again yeah this is gonna it looks very refreshing i mean i like the since you like managing your heroes to show them the background like the the punching bags and it's, it's actually pretty cool i kind of like it and um i'm looking forward to it so let's get into the next one okay this right here is your survivor screen the survivor screen is where you'll encounter another new addition to the cast the director found later in stonewood he'll help you manage all of your squads and survivors we're also introducing a new feature called Autofill. Autofill works by making sure your survivors with the highest power are always slotted in a squad. Although it is on by default, you can always take full control at any time. There's also a new quick tip screen to better explain the matching rules of squad slotting. Lastly, we've added a feature to make navigation between item types faster than before. Use the left and right arrows to quickly change between heroes, schematics, survivors, defenders, and resources. This I like right here because I know a lot of people have questions on how to slot their survivors. And now with the autofill, it's basically gonna auto slot all your higher level survivors. So you have the maximum um, power level that, that you can possibly get, get automatically, which is actually pretty cool to help a lot of new players out. A lot of people that don't know how to slot their survivors, this is the solution. And um, you guys are really gonna enjoy this. All right, the next screen is the upgrades. The upgrade rooms is staffed by Kevin, your robotic helper for gaining access to gadgets and other tools. Upgrade points earned by leveling up during missions can be spent to acquire and improve gadgets, as well as upgrade utility options like backpack size and pickaxe strength. You can preview the details of each upgrade level in order to make a more informed decision for where to invest your points. This right here, everybody knows Kevin. He's basically the little robot that he, um. He's gonna basically walk you through this screen. He's gonna be managing the upgrade screen. Right here, it shows you all your, your gadgets and stuff and your tools. You're able to upgrade your pickaxe, backpack size, etc., etc., etc. And um, damn, this dude is also V rich. Look at him, a million V bucks. Jesus, epic. Are you hinting at something? I want some of that. Now, moving on to the research. 
Our favorite Van Flying Sciences Lars has taken up residence in the research lab, where he allowed you to spend research points on the four stats of your choice. We're also introducing bonus meters that provide you with extra stats when filled. The point generation rate and storage capacities of the research lab are now occasionally upgraded when you level up. Now Lars is going to be uh, a character in the game now. He's not just going to be the guy in the van that we got to freaking get him to fly in the weather balloon, whatever the hell it is. But now he's actually going to be managing the research room, which is actually pretty cool. I like the whole new look of it. I mean, it gives the game a fresh look. I kind of like it. And I'm very hype about it. Now moving on to the armory. The armory remains the place to be to access and manage all of your schematics, items and resources as well as a collection book and transformed features. In the update however the armory is now appropriately staffed by another new character. Clip, your weaponsmith. You'll unlock her as you progress in the campaign. Like any weaponsmith worth her salt, Clip keeps your most powerful weapon schematics prominently on display. Alright so now we have Clip. She's actually a very interesting character. I don't know, some of these characters I kind of think they would make great heroes. But um, again, this person is very V-rich. I don't know why I keep looking at the V-Bucks. I guess I'm jealous because I probably got like 10 V-Bucks. But um, this, this screen right here will actually let you go over your schematics, backpack storage, collection book, transform and resources. So basically with your schematics and everything, your weapons is going to be on this screen right here. Managed by the new character Clip. Now moving on to the quest. The quest tab is now the first tab in the UI and shows the campaign and event quest maps that you can scroll through, inspecting rewards as you go. We've made a few other changes as well. First, the play now button was moved to the bottom of the screen to be more consistent with where other game launching buttons are located. Second, the quest log is now accessed from a large button directly below the play now button. This placement allows it to be instantly accessible from the campaign and event quest maps allowing you to pin quests without having to navigate away from the quest map. In the future we'd like to make it easier to navigate the quest map. The new player experience. We've also made changes to improve the new player experience. Previously we used a lot of quests with UI based objectives to help explain new features but they were often hard to notice and not as effective as they could be. The quest driven UI tutorials have been replaced with contextual quick explanations of key features as they are unlocked. Prior to the revamp, new users could be taken back by the amount of tabs, menu options, etc. Available right from the beginning of the game. With the introduction of the new home base characters, features are now more consistently revealed as the player progresses through the campaign, being briefly explained when additional clarity is necessary. I'm gonna be honest man, this actually looks pretty cool. I kinda like it. I like the whole the whole look of it, they're revamping the whole game. Um, could this be the first steps of actually bringing new players in to save the world? I think so. I mean, it's totally changing the the look of it. You know what I mean? So, it's, I'm very excited about it, man. I hope you guys are excited about it, too. I mean, like I said, I'm a hardcore um, save the world player. Like, I'm all about the game. And this actually is very promising for us. Now, that was a quick overview of the save the world front end improvements. I hope you guys got a little understanding or a little familiar with what it's going to be like this is supposed to go down in the 6.30 update which should be if i'm not mistaken starting tonight you know what i'm saying we should get that little banner in the bottom downtime 4 a.m eastern time whatever but yeah this is going to be very exciting tomorrow should be very fun to play i hope you guys enjoy it and um i hope you guys enjoyed my video again i apologize for my voice i, I mean I, this video was very hard to make like it really was i feel like doo-doo anyway this actually looks pretty awesome, and I hope you guys are as hype as I am, all right? So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We do live streams almost every day. I try to do it as much as I can. If you are a vet of the video, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new, don't hesitate and subscribe. Also, we do have a Discord that we help each other out with trades, um, missions, storm chests, all that good stuff. You know what I mean? Go check out the Discord. I'll put the link in the description. Go join us. And um, yeah, like always, man, thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right? Peace.